What animal spends most of its life standing on its head and eating with its feet? Don't know? Give up? The answer is the barnacle. Barnacles are marine crustaceans and can be found on many surfaces that get covered by shallow or tidal water. They attach themselves to boats, rocks, shells, sea turtles, and even whales. There are over 1,200 different barnacle species that we know about currently. Most barnacles are harmless because they're filter feeders. This means they don't harm the animal that they live on in any way. Barnacles are most often roughly circular, and they're called sessile invertebrates, which means that they cannot move on their own. They're permanently attached to the surface they live on. In their juvenile form, they do float about freely, but when they eventually attach themselves to their permanent home, they stay there for the rest of their lives, and this can be anywhere from 8 to 20 years. The shell of the barnacle is made of calcite, which consists mostly of calcium carbonate. Calcium carbonate also makes up limestone, marble, and chalk. The juvenile barnacles secretes hard plates, which totally encase it and form a circle around it. Four more plates form a door that the animal can open or close depending on the tide. On the beach, we often find barnacle shells without the animal inside. If the mouth parts are seen, that means the animal is alive and living inside its shell. A barnacle sculpture is made easily using Amico claycrete. Claycrete is basically just instant paper mache that includes plaster. When mixed with water, it can be kneaded just like clay. It doesn't stick to tools or your hands, so it's easy to work with and to clean up. It does dry pure white, and it's very lightweight. So we're going to use claycrete, almost as if it were clay, by making a pinch pot. I've mixed this claycrete with water to a thoroughly moistened but not wet consistency. And at this point, color can be added. You could add powdered pigment or acrylic paint um, right into the mix. So this is a powdered Pearlex pigment. And the Pearlex has a nice little shimmer um, that they add. I'm just gonna put maybe a half a teaspoon in the middle of my ball of claycrete and just mix it in. Um, now, so this can be mixed very thoroughly or it could be partially mixed and create a marbled effect. Many barnacles that we see on shore are white because they have been bleached by the sun. But barnacles can be pink, bright yellow, blue, black, or even apple red. So I've got this handful of mix. It's about the size of a small orange. And I like to squeeze it firmly before I shape it into a sphere. So I've really kind of compressed it as I've been mixing it. So then I'm just going to push my thumb into the middle and rotate the ball in my hand. So as I rotate, I'm pinching the walls and opening them up a bit as I go. Now this is just how you learn to make pinch pot with clay. So just keep this up, pinching and rotating as you go until you have a little bowl shape. Younger students could use a styrofoam cup to press into the ball of mix to sort of get them started. So this is still pretty wet, but after it's set up slightly, to make the ridges in the sides of those barnacles that we see there, you could just sort of rock a tool along the edges, sorry, along the outside to make these ridges. I would wait till it's set up a little bit more than this, but this is basically one thing that you could do. So once the shell is made, I would set it aside and just sort of let it stiffen up while I work on the mouth parts. I've used vellum for my mouth parts, but palette paper or waxed paper would work just fine. Did you ever play the childhood game called Origami Fortune Teller? It looks like this. You'd pick, up, pick a number, and then you'd pick a color, and under the flap of the color you chose would be your fortune. I'm using the same origami technique to make the barnacle's mouth parts, except that these points that stick out on the game, they would either be trimmed or folded inside. So when I'm done making my mouth part, I am going to insert it into the mouth of the barnacle sculpture. So you just fit it in there. Now you can push this mix up around the mouth parts to hold them in place. It might be necessary to add a little more mix to the top just to keep those 
plates in place. And that is it. Once the clay crete is dry, it will be sturdy and lightweight. Drying could be sped up with a fan, the sun, turning the sculpture every now and then. But a tip I did discover is that if you live in a humid climate or your sculpture might take a while to dry, you can add a teaspoon of white vinegar to the mix and this will keep any mold from developing. I hope you'll enjoy making barnacle sculptures. A barnacle colony can be made by mounting all the barnacles made in your classroom onto a wall or the cutout shape of a sea animal. For a complete materials list and PDF of this lesson plan that includes origami instructions, please visit dickblick.com.